Hey guys, uh, in this tutorial I will show you how to create a drop down, vertical drop down menu in uh, Adobe XD. Uh, it's very easy and simple uh, to create something like this. Uh, let's get started. Okay guys, uh, let's start designing the layout first. Uh, let's have a background and uh, give a secondary background color, no need border and a header a small header will do for this one because our menu will be on the side so let's have a primary color here it doesn't matter what color you use, what color I'm using now just all for Weaving purposes only and let's assume our menu will be here so let's give the white as the background and uh, let's say our content area will be here okay I think this layout is fine Let's center it. Okay. So let's start designing our menu. First, we need to have the main menu. Let's give a darker tone to this and take out the border. Let's name it menu main menu. Zero one. Let's give a white color and make the text bigger. Maybe twenty four. Yes, it's fine. Okay, and vertically center it. Then let's have an icon here. Okay, 16 and 48 it 45 degree sorry I need to select it first to rotate it 45 degrees copy minus 45 degrees okay it's look fine and let's give the white color and group it Here, maybe let's make it a little bit bigger. Center it. Okay, our menu is done. Let's group it. Control G. Okay, so now let's go to sub menus. and give a different tone to this one and we don't need the icon here we name it sub menu sub menu Sub menu zero one menu one yes this is fine and let's give a different color and we don't need this big probably sixteen and make it smaller bring it to center oops uh, center okay. So now just let's copy this menu. So before I copy, I need to name them properly. Go to the layers in the design mode. 
rename this by double clicking and say main menu 01 and sub menu 01 all right so just drag it one two three four I think four is fine double click on the text two three oops sorry I need to go I'm renaming renaming the wrong one I need to be renaming this one two I don't know why that happened. Never mind. Three. And four. I have no idea why this is happening. Anyway. Three one. Alright, this is fine. And we just give a different color to every other menu. Okay, this looks fine. Alright. Now what we have to do is copy all of them to a new menu. Okay, menu, this one will be menu 2 and this one will be menu to as well sorry two two let's have one more drag and drop three Three, 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 three. All right, I think this three enough. Just copy the out. Uh, before that, we check the check the naming convention. Menu 1, this can't be menu 1, this must be menu 2, and this will be menu 3, 3, yes, okay, uh, all these menus, just keep the name same, but Just name them sub menu one. This one will be sub menu two and sub menu three and four. Do the same for all all of them. This one is correct. Two. Three, four, same here. Okay, we are almost there. Just drag and drop. 
we need three art for three art boards for each of three main menus. I'll forget to do one more thing with all these main menu main menu items. Right click and arrange bring it front. Do the same for all of them. Guys, we need one more artboard because one of the artboard will be closed. Okay, so the home artboard will be the closed one. So we change this to you know this one is correct. Bring all of these menus. here you don't have to bring all of them into one line bring it a little bit align it a little bit below then it will look even more that final animation will look nicer so start from here the first first sub menu start from here and the last one end it here so it will look more cool when you animate it Okay, menu number two, same as the previous one, one here, but here, please keep the Y X axis same, and one here, and the last one will be aligned to the bottom. Everything is okay. Now, what we have to do is delete this. We don't need this anymore. And delete this as well. And copy all of them. Just this, copy and paste it here and bring it to the bottom yes. and in this one the first one you have to copy and the last one we have to copy first one we have to copy so this Control C and Control V and copy all, bring all of them here. See, we don't need and we have to copy all these menus for the third one third be careful with these selections so control C control V bring it here and in the last one we copy the second and the first one Control C Okay, now the click main menu item icon will be 180 degrees rotate Yes, fine same for this one also. One eight zero, and this one one eight zero. 
Okay, let's give the interaction now. Go to the prototype mode. Second draw. In transition, select auto animate. And in the easy, select ease in and out. Same for this one, ease in and out. Second one will go to second output. That one will go to the last art code. Same for this one as well. This one will go to this art code. This one will go to the last one. This one will be the first. Oops, sorry. And second. And third. First. Second open. And the Third one will be there of the both. Alright. The second one will go to the second close. So guys, uh, we have made a mistake. We have to go back to the first if the art box uh, close. And all of we can just drag and drop to the first again. Now play and see. Yes. Oh, hold on. Layer also. Yes, I think. Uh, oh, we. Okay, guys. Let's check. This one will be our home. And when you open, this one will be open the first one, second one will open the second one, third one will open the third one. And this one, when they close, it will show to the close mode. Same for the second one also, it will go to the close mode, and third one will go to the close mode. Alright, all look fine. Maybe we play with the animation. When we close, maybe it's so easy in and out. We give bounce same here bounce and bounce let's play and see how it look okay okay in so much bounce i don't think it's so nice maybe um so bounce wind up let's see how it looks mm, this looks better let's try with other styles also easing styles uh let's see how snap will look It doesn't look nice. Maybe just the scene. Let's see. Yeah, I think this looks better and realistic. Alright, let's just give easing then. Alright, let's play. Okay, this should fine. So this is how you create a drop down menu. Oh. Hopefully you guys learned something from this one. Thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video. Thank you.